Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 30th of June 2023. I hope you are keeping well, keeping fine on this Friday. Uh, there's been a lot of news while I was sleeping. Um, more violence in France and uh, apparently the US Supreme Court has decided to put the kibosh on affirmative action uh, as kind of mostly expected by people who have been watching the case, I guess. Uh, would we need affirmative action in a perfect world? Absolutely not. Do Is America a perfect world? Uh, just about as far away from it as it could possibly be at the moment. Uh, let's not forget there, that racism permeates everywhere, every avenue, every aspect of American life. It's unfortunate, but it's true. And that means there certainly are racist university professors. And when it comes to finding places for white students, they're more likely to do that. Uh, if their numbers are being monitored, if their choices are being monitored and codified uh, with race, something like that might at least be uh, found out. Now, of course, it will never be found out and they will continue to be on their to go on their merry way of uh, bias. Anyway, that's nasty stuff happening in the US. And of course, the Supreme Court are a bunch of uh, political hacks posing as judges. Uh, really, they just they just deem everything with their own uh, political agenda, really. Oh, sorry, view everything with their own political agenda. We've seen it already with abortion. Now it's happening on race. Next thing will be uh, you know, just anything they can attack that's on the right wing agenda, really. Oh, well, fortunately, we don't have to live in America, all of us. Those of you that are there, you have my sympathy. Uh, and, and just actually, why don't you try and do your best to turn around the situation if you possibly can? I know it's difficult. You're a powerless person in a large country. People feel like that. But, you know, some people have power. Maybe you can get some, too. Right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. This is the Guardian hard level game for a Friday. How are we going to begin? I'm going to begin with this two blocking these squares here and this two blocking up here. And that's going to give me a two. Oh, excuse me, I had the wrong mode selected. It's going to give me a two in that square there. I clicked on the wrong button again. It's going to be one of those days. It's very early in the morning here. It's going to be one of those days where I click on the wrong button, I guess. What else is happening with this Sudoku puzzle? Um, twos are blocking across here and across here and down here as well. So we shall put a two in that square neatly there. And I think that's it. But we've got ones down like this. So we can certainly place a digit one there. One up here, one down there, one across there. There's a one we can place. We've got seven going up here, seven going down there. There's a seven. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, and uh, there's an ant crawling on my neck. It's getting away from me. I can't kill it. It's going down the back of my shirt. So if you hear me scream <laughs> or scratching, you'll know what's going on. We've got six blocking across here. So six is in one of those squares blocking back in that direction and giving us a six there. Oh no, I thought I could get one up here, but no, that's a bit too low, unfortunately. Oh, all right, so what's missing from this row? We're looking for a one, we're looking for a four, and we're looking for a one, four, and seven. Uh, so that's one, four, and seven. So we've got five in those squares. So five up there, and nine in these squares. So nine here and here. Here. Hmm. 
Didn't get much out of that. Uh, we've got four up here across and the cross, which will give us a four there. So now fours are limited to those squares. Ones are there. And the other number is seven that can go anywhere there. Um, oh, four down here. We'll put down to the bottom. We'll put four into one of these two squares blocking down with a four there. So that's a four there, which is going to put fours down here like so. So fours in that kind of... Um, pattern we don't like because it's too symmetrical um, We have ourselves a five down here and a five across here, so we'll put five there. Uh, okay, we have <coughs> 8 blocking across here, so 8 is in one of these two squares, you agree, blocking back in this direction. Now we also have 6, so 8 is in one of these squares, and 6 is in this square, so this square is blocked for both 8 and 6, but we need 8 and 6 in this column, so if this is neither 8 nor 6, it must be 5. Okay, five across here, five up there, and five up there means we can place a five in that square there. And now we know five blocks up here and across here like this, so five in one of those squares. So blocking up, blocking up, and blocking across here. There's a five. And now we can finish off the fives like this, across the bottom and down here. There's a five. No, we cannot finish off the fives there. I am wrong. We've still got fives to place in these squares. How did I forget those? Never mind. Um, no, we have not finished the fives just yet. What we do have, though, is we don't have a 3 in this row. We've got 3 blocking here, but when 3 blocks down here, it's got to be in one of these two squares blocking up. So we will say for sure that 3 is there. Now, 3 blocks down here, that puts 3 into one of those two squares, blocking down, blocking down. Here's our 3. 3 blocking this way, blocking that way. Here is a 3 we can place. We actually know this is 3 and 4 blocking here, so this is a pair of 3 and 4. So these squares do not contain 3 or 4, so when we see the 2 blocking there, we know that 2 is there. And the other number, which I have no idea, is a 9. <laughs> we can place there. 9's across here and across here and down there means that's a 9 there. 9 down here and 9 across here means here's our 9 and we'll take the 9s over to the edge but we won't cross the edge and we've got 9s up here 9 is going to become our first victim today thank you for your no not finished oh there's another one up here <laughs> I keep thinking I'm finishing digits and there's I keep there we are 9 is our first victim blood splattered everywhere as nine hits the dust bites the dust sorry uh, we have one blocking across here and we have one up here so we will fit one into that square we have one down here up here we know that one 
is going to go there and that's the final digit one as well six blocks this square here so we will get our six there and now i know from early on we had six and eight didn't we so that's our eight then um oh we also need an eight to finish this block and eight blocks down here so that'll give us an eight there that's as far as we can take it by the look of it because we've got eights in those squares right and that means eight is going to be here or here Yes, and there and there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, so we've got one and nine. We've got the extremities. We're looking for the middle. What do we need? Well, oh no, we don't. <laughs> I was about to tell you something untrue yet again. I'm a, I love telling you lies. Um... Hmm, not sure. Let's hit the uh, digits and see if there's anything to be done. No, not on the twos. Mm. Not sure about the threes. Oh, so this is four and five, right? Four and five up here. So a pair of four and five here. So what are we left with? These are not four or five. They must be six or eight. Okay, we've got the six blocking across here. So that's the six. And that's the eight now. Um, and then the six blocks all the way up here, which gives us the six in that square. Then we've got six blocking up here, which means that's a six and six down down and across for the final digit six there there's only one number missing here looks to be a seven to me um okay so we should probably look down here what are we looking for uh threes this is three and eight up here and so this is four and seven where we've got the blocking four down there so there's the four and there's the seven uh well this is three eight and this is three eight of course right so i know that this square here cannot be three or eight uh, and we only have three empty squares so normally this is a good place to look for a unique rectangle right <laughs> we know it's not one two three four five six could be seven it's not eight. it is a seven it has to be a seven seven down here we need a seven in this row and then we'll finish that row with a four um Seven's not finished. Why are they not finished? Ah, because we have seven blocking there and we have to put seven there. I thought I'd finish them off, but no. And uh, can I finish the fours yet? No. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think we shouldn't be, have too much trouble because now we see the eight blocking here. So we know that that will be our eight. This, of course, might be the three. And this will be the eight based on what we just said. Uh, and then we have eight blocking up here and eight across here. So that will be the eight. And we will be left in these squares with three and five. So we've got the five blocking there. So that will be the five. Five blocks across here. There's a five. This will be a three. Three blocks across here. Here is our three. And we need a three up there. Three blocks across here. There's a three. This will be a two. And we need a two to complete this row. And here we're looking for a four. And a four there will finish today's Guardian hard level get a Sudoku puzzle for a Friday. Thank you. I will see you for more Sudoku today. I do have to work outside, but only in the afternoon. So I'll try and get some games in in the morning. 
And my uh, heavy work schedule basically came to an end yesterday, so I should have a lot more free time coming up soon. Bye-bye.